truly my other half, and I love you so much. For many years, I prayed to God to provide guidance and lead me to the woman that he had in store for me, and, find, and I finally found her. So today, I can truly agree with the proverb that I have found something great, and I'm great when she is indeed. I can't believe that this all started over a year and a half ago from a simple message on eHarmony to meeting most of your family on, on New Year's Eve, which is pretty much our like second or third date. Since then, we have worked on growing together in our walk with God and as well as deepening our relationship with each other. There is so much I love about you, such as your huge heart for others and how it makes you such an amazing teacher, as well as an amazing partner in mine. Since we've been dating, I have always felt your love and utmost support for me. Most importantly though, I love your passion for your relationship with Jesus. It was such a blessing to see how you valued that in your life as much as I do and how much it drives you as well. In the Bible it says, husbands, love your wives, just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. Kristen, I promise you in front of God, our family, and friends, to treat you and love you as Christ loved the church, even up to laying my down life down for you. I promise to be your leader for you in our walk with God as well as our own family. I promise to stand by you to do what I can to make you happy. I will be your partner in all life's adventures. I will grow old with you, but never stop growing with you. I will also protect you from snakes. I know we will encounter rough times together, as we already have, but I know we will make it through because love doesn't give up on rough times like that. Love doesn't say and I'll send off, and love doesn't just walk away when we're going to stuff. Together, we may grow in the likeness of Christ, and our home be a praise to Him. I look forward to what God has in store for us as we grow together and have a Today. Today is the day that I dreamed about for as long as I can remember. I can't think back to a time when I didn't have a list of my perfect husband. It started as a basic description of my dad, and then it grew and grew and became everything I ever wanted in the man of my dreams. As the years went by, God and I had some very real conversations about this man I had prayed about for so long. Why wasn't he showing up? I soon began to realize that God wanted to be the perfect husband for a while. Then one day, out of nowhere, you came along. God had told me no so many times before, but this time I did not give no. So before I say I do, before all of our family and friends, I want to say a couple of words to you. Kirk, you're such a man of honor and integrity. I will never have to question your decisions because your godliness and integrity are unmatched. I know you will always pray for decisions for us throughout our, throughout our lifetime. Secondly, thank you for loving me so well. You have this ability to take all my crazy emotions and thoughts and simplify it into all one thing. I have Kirk and Jesus, so everything is okay. You love me so well, and I know it's God and you that. This ring has become a part of me. So many years ago, I put this ring on my finger and told God that I would wear it until I die. Or if a man replaces it with a wedding pin. True love waits. I waited for you. God will bless us as we fully unite together today. I take off this ring now and I give it to you. I will never be able to thank you for the strength you've had to protect this gift. So, the perfect husband list has started with about 20 must haves, and now I look at the list and see one thing only you. It is you. All that you are and all that you will become, you are my perfect husband. Kirk Christopher Humble, I will love you forever with all of my heart.
enjoyed for these many, many years. Jesus absolutely loves. 
loves you. And that is the most important thing in their lives. And uh, and that's that's what I would go back to. It's Jesus is number one for this team. Thoughtful. I think we can all agree that Kristen is the most thoughtful and loving person. This whole wedding is an example of that. She has thought about each and every one of you in the planning of this day. She showers and loves kindness wherever she goes, and we all benefit from it. Inclusive, I. Kristen wants everyone, every one of you, and everyone she meets, even the guy at the gas station, <laughs> to be included. She wants it all to be complete. And notorious. <laughs> Some say it's notorious RBG, but the original is the notorious KLT. Now, as of today, the notorious KLH. There is no one that compares with Kristen, and she leaves her mark wherever she goes. Her laughter, her fun-loving spirit, how much she makes you feel special. Take a minute right now to think of your favorite moment with Kristen. Kristen, we are so excited for this next chapter for you. So, so how did it cost me? It's amazing. It's fun. I <laughs> ingenious. Kurt, you're a really smart guy for picking this room. <laughs> I've only got to hang out with her one time, but the one time we did, she came to my family's house. We got to spend a couple hours together, and she just lights up your eyes. You tell you picked a good one. She's really sweet. <laughs> This is from Ben, very nice. Yes, own something. Burn something. Burn something up. Yeah. Always, always legal. So, Christy, if you find some scars for the next couple of days, that's what they need to us. Kurt, uh, I don't know if you guys knew this, but Kurt worked in Alaska um, and he was very nice. I mean, he talked about somebody going to drive to Alaska for a job, right? I mean, that's not a picture of a crazy man, but I'm going to tell you that he's going to be a man. We're so happy for you guys. We're looking forward to the next chapter of your life. I just keep Jesus at the ring. We love you so much.